In today's Madden 21 tip breakdown, I'm going to be breaking down some simple pressure that you can utilize out of the 3-4 bear in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, I just want to encourage you that my channel is all about Madden 21 uh, tips and tricks videos. We basically uh, break down four tips every single day, ranging from passing concepts, route combinations, uh, tips on reading the coverage, reading the defense, um, to defensive blitzes and coverage schemes and run defenses and all that stuff. So if you're looking to get better at Madden 21, I would highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so 3-4 Bear might be making its way back into Madden. Uh, I think it's actually a really, really good package now. Again, as the year goes on, the ratings and the linebackers get a little bit better. Now, I would still contend that 3-4 Bear and 4-6 Bear and all those packages are okay. They're not necessarily great, but um, the pressure you can get from 3-4 Bear is actually really unique, and I think it's really, really effective. So uh, let's break this down really quickly for you. All we're going to do is we're going to come out and pinch uh, Buck Zero. As you can see, this linebacker on the left side has got to be blitzing. You see that he's going to come down in this little uh, gap right here. Now, that's actually one of the primary reasons you call this play. Now, if you don't call this play, all you got to do is just blitz all the linebackers and then press coverage twice, which is what I'm going to do right here. As you see, this is what we're going to get. This is this is the front that we're going to get. Now, all we're going to do is we're, if we want to send it off of the left side, we're just going to zone off. Uh, these guys right here so I'm just gonna man them up right here and as you can see we've got everybody manned up across the board and I'm gonna have a user over the middle of the field I'm just gonna blitz this guy kind of hover right in here and at the snap of the ball I'm just gonna come down a few steps and then come out and as you can see we're gonna get that left edge pressure um, right at the quarterback if they send five out this is a great little blitz that you can use now if you wanted to get a little bit more adjusty with this um, what you could do is you could crash your line to the right you could then basically zone up these guys on two players QB contain rush, stand right in here with your user, and then snap of the ball, come in, and then come out. Uh, as you see, though, I think containing out of 3-4 bear actually makes the blitz a little bit slower. That's just been my personal um, opinion. You can take it or leave it. Uh, but as you can see, we're not able to quite get the same amount of pressure uh, that we were. Uh, let me show you that one more time. And again, make sure you're manning this. If you're facing a spread formation, 3-4 um, bear, in my opinion, can still be good. Um, you just need to make sure you're watching out for the seam routes because that's what they will go to. But as you can see there, there's the pressure right off that left edge. So that is pressure uh, left. Let me show you pressure right now. And this is what's really cool, in my opinion, is um, the beauty of the 3-4 bear is it always looks like you're going to send the gas at them. I mean, you could send seven. You could send eight. You can, I mean, you could just send so many people at the quarterback. Now, in this look right here, we're going to send pressure off of the right edge. So what I like to do um, is typically I will basically, you know, you, you kind of want this guy to be in the middle of the field. You really don't want him to be on either side. You want him to be in the middle so he can kind of play both seams. Um, but what you'll see uh, right here is we'll just kind of adjust, honestly. Um, why can I man him up? Man him up. Oh, I can't man him up on him. Wow. Uh, we'll just put him on inside third then. Um, but you could do this from zone. You could do this from man. You know, you do something like this right here, and then mainly all you got to do is just watch that outside seam. So we'll show you the contain set first. Um, as you see, the contain, that's what I'm saying. The contain, the contains just don't come in as consistently, in my opinion, from this. I don't know if they patched it or if this was from last year or whatever, but if you just leave them blitzing, um, you should see here we should get some pressure. So, again, let me just crash my line to the right. Oh, I lost a line right there, but when I'm down right in here, and we'll just zone these guys off. I know the tight end is going to be wide open. We're just trying to show you the pressure right now. Uh, and again, your job will be the running back. Like if the running back goes out on a shoot, so you're just going to go right in here. And as you see the pressure, like I said, when you just leave them blitzing, when you just leave them blitzing, the pressure will scream. Um, when you try to zone them out, that's where I feel like you run into problems. So again, just come out, globally blitz the linebackers, press coverage. You're going to take your user and bring him right here. Now, if you don't you don't have to press coverage. I mean, you, you don't have to. Um, I just like to. But again, uh, just so I can disguise everything. But I shake coverage outside, shake coverage over top, blitz all the linebackers. And then from there, you can basically create um, whatever coverage scheme you want. The cover, the 3 4 bear, in my opinion, does have really unique you know, coverage schemes as well. But you'll see right here, stand right in this little gap. And you should get that pressure off that right edge. I think the reason I didn't do that was because I didn't crash the line. Um, down. I think you have to crash the line down from 3-4 Bear. You can't just leave the stock 
uh, blitz angles as much as you'd like to. Like this right here, and it's primarily because of where you're standing with your user, um, because you really do need the left side pressure. In my opinion, needs you know the most help. But you'll see right here. This is just leaving the blitz angle stock, and you see we're going to get picked up. But what we can do to basically free him up is just simply crash the line down. And by crashing the line down, that's going to put more stress on that center. And you'll see now we should be able to come in clean. So just come down, and that's what we're looking for. You see how it kind of screams in? I think that's pretty fast pressure, too. Um, I think it gets on the quarterback really fast uh, as well. Now, what's really cool about the 3-4 bear, in my opinion, is what you can also do is you can send 7. Um, so I can send 7 and just crash line down, and what you'll see is this will get you know pretty good. You'll, you'll get double edge heat uh, just like that. As you can see right there, uh, pretty easy pressure. Now, really quick, just so you can see it, uh, let me reset that. Um, if I were to use her, if I were to use her white and do the same blitz, you see that you're still going to get the two people free. So that's like if you wanted to, you could do that as well. Um, that's just another way to leverage this. Like if they're you know if they're not, you could basically go man align, press coverage, and then you could crash your line down. That's literally all you got to do. Use her Devin White right here. And you're going to get double edge heat. Just go in for a little bit, and then you're going to you're going to basically occupy that left tackle. Or I'm sorry, that right tackle, and then you're going to jump to the running back, whichever route the running back's on. So this can be a really really effective blitzing scheme if used properly. So literally, I'm just going to run here and then tap him and then recover on the running back. As you can see right there, you're going to get that double edge heat, and you're just sending six in that scenario. So well, I guess six and a half because you're usering. But the three four bear um, I think can be very very good. It comes with the stock cover two invert. What I would do when you go to these zones, just make sure your linebackers are down in this gap. If they're down in this gap, um, that's going to help so much. And what you'll see is we can send the same blitz from zone. So same blitz from zone. I'm just going to crash my linebackers down and cr or globally blitz my linebackers, crash my line down. Same setup right here. And as you see, we're going to get the pressure off of both edges. So this, this blitz can be really, really effective in my opinion. Um, if used at the right time against the right offense, obviously. But what's really nice is from the same look, so I'm in the same look now, I can be in, you know, effectively a cover three coverage and then just spying this guy and then basically just, you know, running, um, running a Mabel coverage on both sides of the field. You'll see something just like this. And now... You get that curl flat. So if I was using this guy here and uh, over this center right here, now you see that we've got it mabled, and then we're just kind of sitting back, playing some coverage defense. You know, and the coverage defense this year is really, really good. You get good sheds, and voila. Another thing that you could do um, from the 3-4 bear is come out in the pinch dog 3, which has really good match coverage, and you could leverage that as well. That was a tactic that we used last year. But anyways, guys, that's a little bit about the 3-4 bear. That's a pressure you can use. If you would like more in-depth um, Madden 21 tips and tricks, more high-level stuff, I've got my text message membership for you. It's completely free to join that. Literally, all you got to do is pull your cell phone out, shoot me a text. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen, but just shoot me a text. Let me know you want to be a part of the text message membership, and I will shoot you the uh, video tip breakdown, the playlist. So far in the playlist, we've got a 50-minute Big Nickel Over G run defense, a 50-minute Big Nickel Over G pass defense, over an hour-long gun bunch. Uh, full scheme from Carolina, and then we've also got um, uh, we've also got a gun cluster scheme, and then you're going to start seeing a lot of Minnesota Vikings playbook. We actually broke down the Minnesota Vikings in the very first week of this five weeks ago. So if you want to get that material, I would highly encourage you just to shoot me a text, and I'll shoot you the playlist. Um, this next week, we'll probably give you a sample play from our New England uh, Patriots guy that's going to be coming out um, soon. So. Um, anyways, guys, just be on the lookout for that. If you have not already joined the Discord, there's a link in the description for you to be able to do that as well. And if you're interested in playing in online CFMs, uh, I would highly encourage you to check ours out. Um, just text me. I can shoot you all the information that you need uh, for that if you're interested in that. And last but not least, guys, we'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Uh, and we will announce when we go live on discord so if you're not in the discord make sure you get in the discord so you can know when we go live but again 10 o'clock eastern time is typically when we go live every single night we'll be playing some madden 21 action we'll be showing you talking answering questions live 
um, for the for the uh, stream members. So, anyways, we'll see you tonight.